Welcome to Greenie's Garden. Hey, what's up Green Army? It's Brandon and Alyssa. Hey guys. And we hope all of you guys are having an awesome day today because I'm trying to contain myself because I'm having like beyond an awesome day. Why is your day so awesome? <clears throat> the pond is finally finished, guys. All that hard work, all the time, the patience that we learned. Um, I just, I don't even know where to start, guys. So let's just try to calm down real quick. All right. Okay, so what, two years ago, Two years ago. We started digging a hole. Yep. And two years later. We filled it up and we now have a working pond. Excuse Greenie for thinking that it's a drinking fountain right now, but it's her pond. So she can do whatever she wants right now. Um, but yeah, guys, we're so excited to bring to you guys and kind of explain this long journey from just flat ground to all of a sudden a 15 by 15 three and a half foot deep pond guys as you can see we had to go with the cascade because my awesome wife and i just love the sound of running water it's just i'm a water guy um i, I know you love the sound of the waterfall well and every time we come in the backyard now i keep thinking we left a hose on right i know it's a <laughs> I'm little not weird used to it yet right it's a little weird you know kind of like running around going it's just a pond running um, but yeah guys, it's it's okay, so it's not quite finished, but we had to share it with you guys because we've been so excited. We know you guys have been patient, and this has definitely taught us patience. So not only trees have taught us patience, also the pond now. So if we're not patient, love, I don't know what patience is. <laughs> like seriously, I feel like this has helped us in our personal life. Um, it's just, it's helped us all around guys. And real quick, we have to give a huge shout out to the Pond Digger on YouTube. Um, without his tutorials, I mean, how many times did we watch each video over and over and over? <laughs> there were like maybe 20 or 30 videos in his series. Right. And I know we watched them all before we even started digging because right. we were so excited. Right. And then we've watched each one since then probably like five or six times. And I really truly think it paid off, guys, because it took us two years like we mentioned earlier. And the reason for that is just so many things. I mean, it was time, it was money. It, it was too hot. Too hot. And then even after the fact, we built a cascade with some of our awesome friends. They helped us out. We couldn't have done that part without them. But even after that, we sat and we looked at the cascade and, and all the boulders. And what Eric Tripper will teach you is you gotta move the rocks around. You gotta kind of mess with them flip them over, turn them around, and that's what we did, guys. I feel like we spent like six months on just the cascade. But what feels really good, guys, and I'm not gonna speak for you, but I am beyond happy with the results. Oh, for real, I think it looks so natural. Right, and the sound, and guys, it's shaped as a heart. Like, come on, like, much love, respect. I mean, the whole pond itself is shaped as a heart. Um, you guys know us by now, all about love and respecting your wife, and this is for my sweet Alyssa. Yeah. All that hard work, all of our friends, the main goal was for her. It was to give her a peaceful place, give her a spot, that, you know, she just, she loves the water, and I don't know, it's all for you, and we it's just- It's beautiful. Just, Thank you so much. I love you. I love you too. And, I don't know, and we also wanted to share it with you guys. So we didn't do a how-to video. We just filmed a few cuts of you know building the pond because we really wanted to leave it to the professional. Um, this was just us trusting Eric Triplett. This is an experiment and right. it just happened to turn out well. Yes, so well. <laughs> um, so that's why we didn't really film a how-to, guys. We wanna leave it up to him. It's his job. He loves building ponds. Um, so we really wanted to make sure you guys get led in the right direction. So we left it up to him, but of course, we have to show you guys from now on, the pond, the results, the fish, the, plant. um, the plants, I mean, we're gonna be keeping you guys updated on it. So just kind of like a, just to let you guys know the reason why we didn't do step by step, um, but we really hope you guys appreciate just seeing it now, com almost completed. We gotta get the plants in and everything, but you guys know what I mean. So that being said, guys, just a quick note on this, we're gonna be adding koi fish. Oh yeah, we're not quite finished yet. Right, thank you, yeah, yeah, we're not finished. You can still see pond liner everywhere, so we're gonna work on finding some creative ways to hide that. Right. And then we need pond plants. Yes. And fish. <laughs> right. To kind of complete the ecosystem. Yep, so it's all a system, guys. 
they all help each other out in different ways. And what's really cool is this pond and the fish are gonna help out our fruit trees, guys. So it's, it's mother nature, guys. It's balancing, it's understanding the systems that you guys can work with. Um, and the space, work with what you got, guys. You don't have to have a in-ground pond. There's lifted ponds. I mean, as long as you get that sound back there, guys, I promise you, you will never look at your TV ever again. <laughs> I never recommend watching too much TV anyway. Get in your backyard, hang out with your wife, your husband, your friends. I mean, this really, guys, is the peace palace. I mean, I feel like I've been calling it that, um, but I'm just so grateful at the joy that this pond has brought us already. Yeah. Um, so we're gonna let it run for three days. Uh, just let the water run, let the filter do its job, and kind of clean out the water. And then we're gonna be adding the koi fish. So that's gonna be another video. Well, and before koi fish even, let's see if we can see these little guys. Oh yeah, good point. There's some right here. Can you see that? No. Ah, okay, let's go over here and look, uh, maybe in this area? If you see all these cute little tadpoles, those are actually mosquito larvae. Yeah. So the first thing we'll be doing is getting gambusia. Gambusia. And why are we going to get gambusia? They're mosquito fish. Right. So they eat mosquitoes and mosquito larvae. So they're going to take care of that for us, guys. That's just, thank you. That's a good first, well, I guess, well, what were we on now? Like the fifth step? I don't even know. <laughs> 20th. First step for the fish is, yeah, we're going to grab the mosquito eaters and put them to work. They're going to take care of the mosquitoes for us. As you guys know, mosquitoes are kind of a pain. I don't want to be too mean or rude, but not welcome at Greenies Garden. I think most people agree with us on that one. Right, guys. So we're going to make sure we get them under control, and then we're going to add the koi fish, which I'm so excited about. And we're going to throw some goldfish in there too. Yeah. So it's going to be an awesome family here at Greenies Garden. I'm so grateful for Happy Our Tortoise, Greenie, Zoso, my wife. Like This is all in our backyard. And again, guys, it feels so good to just be so content with the result. We took our time, we took our time, and we took our time again, guys. <laughs> and the results are just amazing. I just love the look on my wife's face right now. You can tell she's looking at the pod <laughs> and the Sorry, waterfall. Sorry, I should be focusing on the video. <laughs> right, so guys, you can do it. If you're looking to do a pond, watch the pond digger. There's such great videos. I can't thank him enough for all of those tutorials of really step-by-step, -step, guys and watch the video over and over as many times as you need to. Don't be ashamed because the end result is so important, guys. I definitely wouldn't want to be doing a lot of work, you know, and being unhappy with the result. So I'm grateful to say I love it. I love it too. That's all that matters. So I don't know, babe, like what else should we tell them about the pond? Like, I, it's just, I feel like I could say a hundred things right now. Maybe we'll just let the waterfall speak for itself right now. guys. Thank you so much for just always updating us on, you know, where's the pond, where's the pond, and just, it's such a great feeling to finally give this to you guys and let you guys enjoy it too. So, in all the videos now, you might be hearing the sound of the pond, but we're okay with that. <laughs> Thank you guys again so much for watching today's video. As always, guys, respect your wife, love your garden, and go for it. We hope all of you guys have an awesome day today. <laughs> Bye, guys.